When I was 18 years old, I was selling vacuum cleaners. And at the same age, our next guest has already developed a potential treatment for breast cancer. Her name is Sarah Sakowitz. Sarah, come on down. Where are you? This was a surprise. Surprise! Oh my god. You thought you were just coming to a taping? Yeah. Yeah, no, we want to talk to somebody like you who's yeah. working on curing cancer. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. You're 18 years old and you're working on a treat. So how do, you're a college student, right? I am. And and so how did this come up that uh, that you're working on this? So my friends kind of they tell me I've lived this crazy double life because by day, I'm a freshman at Columbia uh, right. studying biomedical engineering. And then at night, I guess when everyone else is going to frat parties, I'm going to my cancer research lab, putting on a lab coat, and, um, and, and researching breast cancer. Wow. And do you have someone in your family that you did? What, what sparked this? So when I was nine, my cousin died from breast cancer. And that was really the first time I had ever, um, I think, encountered death so close to my family. And uh, I, I felt the impact it had on everyone around me. And um, science was already big in my life. And I, I thought I needed to understand, really, the science behind cancer to get past, I guess, the shock. Um, and then when I turned 16, I started at my first cancer research lab. Um, and that was kind of the beginning. Wow, it's amazing. So you were just drawn to this. And how does your treatment work? So basically, uh, everyone has genes. And genes are kind of like on-off switches. Um, and against cancer, genes can actually act like an army. So everyone has genes that can prevent the block uh, or prevent the spread of cancer. But when cancer, or when cancer starts, um, a lot of these genes are actually switched off. So they're turned off. Um, and so from the very beginning, uh, what I've been working to do is turn on these important anti-cancer genes. Um, and what my, my treatment or therapy does is actually prevent the silencing of those genes in the first place. Um, so the hope is that it can prevent the progression of, of cancer. Yeah, that's amazing. That's so. Could it? Is this just for breast cancer? Could this work for any and all cancer, or, or a ca different cancer is treated in different ways? So um, the most exciting part of my research, I think, is that um, whereas other therapies have focused on you know specific elements of specific cancers, um, my the mechanism that underlies my therapy is not only found in breast cancer; it's found in everything from lung cancer to colon cancer. Um, and the chemical that I actually I, I use to block the pathway in the first place was first introduced in a different type of cancer, lymphoma. Um, so I'm really hoping that, uh, that this type of therapy can be extended from lymphoma to breast cancer to many other types of cancers, Sarah, too. Sarah, good for you. <laughs> I, it's amazing. It's you. amazing what you're doing. 18 years old. You are changing the world. Thank you. So this year, we are partnering with uh, Google Made with Code. And they're committed to helping young people pursue careers in technology, from curing cancer to creating apps. Coding is a way to achieve your dreams. And if there's one thing I know about, it's coding. So I'm going to do some coding <laughs> right now. I want to give you something. Uh, Andy, will bring out my new computer, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, there's no need to plug it in. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we have everything uh, ready to go. We re good to go? OK. OK. This is really impressive. Thanks. OK, you want to just take a look at my coding. I don't know what you're. Oh. OK. Just about to start working? Yeah, that works pretty well. OK. <laughs> That's for you, Sarah. Oh, my god.